Hi, welcome to another video and tutorial from VPN Mentor. I'm Brian, and today I'll be guiding you through ExpressVPN. As usual, we'll check out the services they offer, how hard it is to install and use their network, how it performs, and see whether they unlock geo-restricted content. Lastly, we'll test the responsiveness of their customer support and see whether we can get a refund. Starting from their homepage, they claim to be a leader in the VPN industry with high-speed ultra-secure network. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee as a prominent feature, which isn't so common against the competition. Down the page, we can see they claim to unlock any content using servers in 94 countries, all of which have encryption. It's also worth to mention that the page is available for browsing in 16 different languages. Express has more than 2,000 servers and an app that supports all major operating systems, including mobile ones, as well as extensions for browsers and modem integration. That and having the possibility to use all their services with no restrictions looks like a great pack of features, especially if we also mention that they support split tunneling, which means you can choose what part of your traffic is going through the VPN and what doesn't. If you're interested in knowing more about split tunneling, drop a look at the link in the video description. They also don't keep any log, which is a must nowadays. No matter what one provider is claiming about their services, be sure to check out their Terms of Service page. This will give you more insight into how they offer services, what they include, and what limitations are imposed on their service or you as their customer. What's great about their website is that it has very clean and simple explanations for most of the services and features for their less experienced or tech-savvy customers. Moving to their pricing page, we can see they accept the usual payment methods, but also a few others, such as Alipay, GyroPay, and cryptocurrencies as well, which will make your payments anonymous. We're selecting their monthly plan for the purpose of this video, even though there are cheaper options. Before continuing, I should mention that we offer coupons on VPN services on our coupon page, which can be found in the video description, and you can get there a better deal on your purchase. The page is updated every week, so even if you watch this a few months after publishing, no worries, the coupons will still be up to date. If it works and helps cut down the costs of your purchase, please make sure you share it with the world. Okay, let's do a small check. I click on the ExpressVPN coupon, follow the steps, and take a look here. The discount is applied and you get three months free. I'm getting the one month plan anyway, but this can be a lot of money saved for you guys. After payment, we're presented with their dashboard with basic account information and shortcuts for frequent questions customers have. Be aware that the plan is automatically renewed every month if you don't switch it off yourself. There are options for downloading the software for three of your devices, and when downloaded, make sure to copy your activation code since you'll need it when logging into the software. We are choosing the Windows version since that's what we run locally. Next, we run the software on our machine and checking out the app. Here, you'll need the activation code we previously mentioned. Basically, you'll need it each time you'll log in from a new device for the first time. But don't worry, you can find it on your dashboard anytime. We can see the app is clearly laid out, with server locations they recommend or you've recently used, and server locations are searchable. Menu options allow you to set the VPN client to connect upon boot, run on the last server used, and manage the connection for each app separately. You can control the protocol choice for your connection, see your basic account information, connect to their service through browser extensions as well as other network-specific settings. Help and Support section has shortcuts for VPN's customer support and various different network tests. Also, you can connect other devices you have to the same subscription plan through their app. Now, let's see how their network performs. I will present the data side by side so it's easier to understand the differences between our local connection and with the VPN turned on. Before testing the server speed, make sure to clean the browser's cache. Confirming the IP address on our local network, we can see we're currently in Switzerland, so from now on, on this left part of the screen, we'll show our local data, compared to the right part where we'll show the data while connected to a server located in the US. The numbers are 88.31 megabits per second for download, and 18.26 megabits per second for upload, with a ping of 13 milliseconds. This compares to 27.55 megabits per second and 6.68 megabits per second with a ping of 158 milliseconds for the ExpressVPN connection, which is quite a good result. Even if it looks like a big drop, you'll be definitely able to stream online smoothly without buffering. All right, let's head out to Netflix and try with streaming some content we know is geo-restricted here. Searching for TV series Grey's Anatomy, we can see we end up with no results. On the other side, we've searched for the same show which appeared in the search, but unfortunately, we couldn't stream any of the episodes. Hmm. We've tried once more, this time selecting other US-based server, and the second try gave us a result. We could play the episode we wanted with no issues at all. 
In case you had issues and need help from ExpressVPN or have questions for them, make sure to check their support page and choose one of the options for contacting them. There are answers to frequent topics down below, so it might be an even faster solution for your problem. Since this completes our test, let's try to cancel our subscription and see whether we can get a refund. We are contacting their customer support through chat on their website, even though you could have also contacted them directly from the app. Within a minute, we got an automatic response, and within 10 minutes, they confirmed the refund, and that will receive our refund back within seven days. And we did. If you'd like to know more on ExpressVPN, I suggest heading to our review page linked in the video description, where you can find many details regarding their service, like expert reviews, their current rating, and also compare them to other VPN providers. Okay, let's quickly take a look at things we liked about their service. Their website is nicely organized. The information is easy to find. The software is available for all major operating systems, as well as browser integration. They support many payment methods, including Bitcoin. The application is very simple and less experienced people will easily find their way through. They don't keep any logs and their software supports kill switch. There's a large choice of server locations in many countries. The service speed is very good and they unlock geo-restricted content. The customer support was very responsive and we already got our money back. The one thing that would be to improve is their pricing, but quality and security have a price, which is why we think this is still worth every cent. In case you weren't satisfied with their service, don't forget about the 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you for staying with me throughout the video, and hope this one helps you to choose your VPN provider. If that was the case, please share, like, or comment below.